Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the better PvP mod in Minecraft 1.15. Dot two. This is a pretty cool mod. It adds quite a few different features that will help you in PvP, including a mini-map, uh, an interface that shows like potion and armor status, and then it also has a quick use toolbar that you can bind to like key like you know, keys on your keyboard, for example, placing torches, TNT, throwing potions, eating food, etc. It has a better sprint feature, which allows you to sprint without having to hold that W key forward. Pretty annoying, I guess. Never really something that's bothered me, but it could be cool in PvP. Toggle Sneak allows you to toggle sneak on and off very quickly. There's also a notification on screen notification sort of thing for low HP, low hunger, danger of explosion, arrows being shot at you, things like that. And then last but not least, this is a very customizable mod. So there's a ton of different stuff that you can customize and change around in this bot mod through the edit mode and in-game settings, which is pretty cool. So there you have that. That's what better PvP is. And today we're going to be showing you how to get it installed. First and foremost, though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check out Apex at the first First link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible 24 hour DNS protected Minecraft server up and running for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, playdownbreakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy, check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get better PvP installed. So what you want to do is first go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here. Now this is better PvP's download page, right? And this is where all the features are. They also have their little installation guide, but we're going to be going over all that in depth with a bit of an easier process. You don't have to worry about, you know, opening up this folder and all that. You don't have to worry about doing any of that. We're going to show you how to do that. But nevertheless, once you're here, all you want to do is scroll down and click on the download a full mod version there, or the fair play version, by the way. Each one, like both of them are, installed the exact same way. For this one, we're going to be doing the full mod, but if you want to do the fair play, it's the exact same way. It'll take you off to this page, which is basically a list of all the downloads for 1.15.2, 1.14, all the different versions of better PvP. Once you're here, what you want to do is find the 1.15.2 version. As you can see, Minecraft 1.15.2, and then scroll over and click on the mirror button to the right of that. When you click on that, the download will immediately begin in the bottom left. As you can see, it is going to ask if we want to keep this file. We do, so betterpvp.jar is, is what it is, so that's a safe file to keep. On the center of your screen, it's going to pop up and ask you if you want to save the file. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, we do want to save the file. Now, we aren't downloading just yet. We do need to download and install Forge. Luckily, we've got a great tutorial on that, and I'm going to be showing you a quicker version of this tutorial in this video. So go to the third link down below. That will take you here. This is our tutorial on installing Forge, which is great if you have some issues, but we're going to be going over most of it in this video. So once you're here, click on this green Download Forge button. That'll take you off to Forge's official website, where you want to make sure your Minecraft 1.15.2 is selected. It does say MC 1.15.2 here. Guess what? That means we are good to go. So we can go ahead and go under Download Recommended and click on Install. Now if it doesn't say MC 1.15.2 here, no worries. Click on the 1.15 section on the left-hand sidebar. Click on 1.15.2. It'll then pop up right there. And now again, we can come under Download Recommended and click on Installer. Now when we click on that, it's going to take us off to Add Focus. We're stopped! Don't click anything! Don't freak out! Don't click anything! Don't click anything! On this page, you know your download's not ready, it's lying to you. Just wait six seconds, and then in the top right, you will see a skip button, right? Don't click anything on this page other than the red skip button in the top right. When you click that, it's going to pull up the file in the bottom left. It's 100% safe to keep the file as long as it starts with Forge. Ours does, so we can click Keep. If yours doesn't, no worries. Just don't save the file and click the red skip button. Then the Forge file will download or start downloading, you'll be able to keep it, and then you're good. On Mozilla Firefox, same thing, you'll need to save the file on the your screen, which is safe to do so as long as it starts with Forge. Now at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we have better PvP, and we have Forge. And we're actually going to be starting off with Forge here, because, well, we need to install Forge in order to install better PvP. So to do that, go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and then click OK. Now if you don't have Java, or if you do have Java and it doesn't work, or if these don't look like these Java coffee cups here, and instead they look like book files, or a Minecraft file, or anything other than a Java coffee cup, what do you do? Well, no worries, we do have a solution for you, and that solution can be found in the description down below, and that is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. As you can see, this has helped over 1 million people install Java, get the correct version of Java for their Minecraft servers and mods, and come here, download Java, it's a simple three-step process, and you should be good to go. But if for whatever reason you still can't open up Forge, no worries, just go to the jar fix here. This is also linked in the description down below. So another little three-step tutorial, download, run the jar fix, and basically what this is going to do is make all the .jar files on your computer work with Java once again. However, you do need to update Java 
and download this version of Java for the jar fix to work. Once you've done that, finally, we should be able to right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, click OK, and then it will go ahead and open up the mod system installer for Forge. All you want to do here is click on Install Client and click OK, then it'll go through, download some things, do everything it needs to do to get Forge set up and running for Minecraft 1.15.2 so we can install the better PvP mod. So as you can see, complete successfully installed client profile Forge. Awesome, we are good to go. Go ahead and click OK. Now we can move on to installing better PvP. So to do that, we actually want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And then from the Minecraft launcher, down here in the bottom left, you'll have this little arrow here. See that? Click on that, and in here you should have a Forge profile, and under it, it should say 1.15.2. If you do have that, go ahead and click OK, or click on it, excuse me, go ahead and click on that Forge profile, and then click Play. But if you don't, or if it doesn't say 1.15.2-Forge under it, no worries. Just go to the Installations tab here. And then on the Installations tab, what you want to do is click on the Plus New button right here. See that? Plus New. Click on that. And then right here where it says name, you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own grief protected 24 hour Minecraft server. We have two incredible survival servers, one awesome Skyblock server. Factions is coming soon, so come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. You will absolutely love it. It is truly the best Minecraft server in the world. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com again is the IP information in the description. Nevertheless, what we now wanna do is click on this version drop down here. And then after that, you wanna find where it says release 1.5. 15.2 dash forge there it is for us go ahead and click on that now the resolution you want to go ahead and change that to whatever you want i'm going to go ahead and up it just a little bit because well yeah that needs to be so you guys can see now we can go ahead and click the create button in the bottom right now you'll see this new profile you created at the bottom down here and as long as it says 1.15.2 dash forge under it which it should you can scroll over and click the green play button there now minecraft will open up and ready and be ready to install better pvp right now at this point i do actually have an old mod from an old tutorial installed don't mind that it's no big deal but even if you don't have any mods installed it's gonna look the exact same as mine once we open up this right here we'll land on the minecraft main menu but you'll notice some different things things that aren't normal to vanilla minecraft and i'm going to show you those whenever we get here to the minecraft main menu so here we are loading onto the main menu and as you can see in the bottom left it does say forge we also have this mods button that's the difference so if we click on mods here now you will see that i do have lucky block but you won't have those so no big deal just go ahead and click on the open mods folder here and when you open your mods folder it will open up this folder right here and there won't be anything in it just take better pvp and drag it from your desktop or your downloads folder wherever better pvp is just take it from your desktop and drag it into the mods folder here now if you go back it's not going to appear and it's, it's never going to appear you can stay in minecraft all you want forever it's never going to appear here right never going to happen because what you need to do is close out of minecraft open up the minecraft launcher again right and then from the minecraft launcher you should be able to click the green play button because your profile should already be selected now see that if it's not just select it in here and then click play. Now Minecraft is gonna open up and in this preloading phase, right, we'll be able to see better PVP. There we go, that means completed deep scan, it's there, it recognizes the mod is there, and it's gonna open it up, which is pretty cool. So now all we're doing is waiting again to get to the Minecraft main menu. This time will be probably a little faster than last time because we only have one mod instead of the other mods that we had installed that I deleted. But here we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we look on the mods tab, we'll see better PVP mod there. That means it has worked. One of the things I would recommend doing with a better PvP mod almost immediately is jumping into controls. So options, controls, and then scrolling down until you see the better PvP section because yeah, there's quite a bit. As you can see, better PvP, all of this stuff here, quick E, quick use, and all that stuff is all here. Then you also have Xero's mini map, which is installed with this, you know, automatically there. So that is one thing that you want to check out. You can see how to add waypoints, all of that stuff, all of the controls are here for the most part. So pretty cool there. But if we click done, we can go ahead and I'm just gonna create a new single player world. We'll just call this better PvP. And we'll keep it in survival, but I want to turn cheats on just so just so if I want to go into creative, I can. And I'm gonna showcase this mod just a little bit. I mean, really and truly you need to be able to PvP to showcase all of it, but I'm gonna show you all some of it and um, see, you know, kind of check it out for myself here. I have a little bit of experience with this mod in the past, but not as much as many of the other mods out there, just because I'm not a PvPer personally. I've never been that much into Minecraft PvP. It's an art that I've just never been able to pick up. So if we spawn in here, we'll see kind of the, the little dots on the mini map here. Now the minimap should start generating after a second. It's gonna lag for a second here just because my CPU isn't good enough to get things rocking and rolling. But if we do hit H, that'll toggle that minimap on and off, right like so. And I think we need to actually edit our minimap settings. 
which is no big deal. You can hit uh, B, by the way, to create a new waypoint. So let's say we wanted to create a waypoint here. We could hit B. That's going to open this up, this kind of waypoint menu. We can name this just Spawn. And then click Confirm, and there's a waypoint now there for Spawn. It's also on the mini-map up there. Now if we go ahead and hit Escape, go into Options, Controls, scroll down, and we can see some of these you know, different things that we can do with this mini-map. So all you can see, enlarge mini-map, zoom in, zoom out, all of that. And then we do have the better PvP settings, which is Y. I think that's what we're going to want. So we hit Y here. Yep, here are all the better PvP settings. We can go in here and change the minimap on and off. We can change the armor status on and off, potion status on and off. All of this different stuff can be turned on and off. We can go into waypoints and edit those. Custom settings, minimap, and we can actually change things on the minimap. You can see up here that the minimap has now generated. I told you it would take a minute, but it has now generated. And you can go in here and change all sorts of different things on the minimap. Go back, you can change the on the potion status, all sorts of stuff can be changed and rearranged here. You can also, you know, come in here and for example and see like what do we want up here? You can choose a preset. Fancy, for example, and then you'll be good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and spawn myself in some armor and show you the armor status. So let's go ahead and get a few different types of armor here. We'll get like a diamond chest plate, an iron helmet, a leather, some leather boots, and a gold pair of pants. So throw all those out there, grab that, oh come on, give me those pants. And now let's go back into survival. And then if we equip all of these, you will see all of the uh, the status of the armor pop up there. See, isn't that pretty cool? Now if we go ahead and double tap on W, I believe, let's see if we hit sprint. I don't know how the auto sprint works. I've never been able to use better sprinting. I just haven't. It's never been something that I've been able to master but um, is a cool feature that is here nonetheless, but that's just me being horrible at using Better Sprint. So there you all have it. That is how you can download and install the Better PvP mod in Minecraft 1.15.2. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Enjoy the Better PvP mod. It is one of the better PvP mods out there, especially since Vivezig has been removed, which is kind of sad. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Come join us at play.breakdowncraft.com, where we have some awesome PvP as well. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.